request. And uh, it, it's a request that doesn't actually involve the rest of the band, but no, you know, I feel I feel obliged. And in a way, it's kind of nice to say, hey, you guys, get off the stage, go have a beer. But there isn't any beer to be had. <laughs> however, however, we've we've planned for this. We planned for this, um, and we have cookies over on the merchandise table. And uh, if Ben and Joan and SJ don't actually eat them all during this particular song, then they're up for grabs during the break. So, you know, this is sort of a self-policing crowd. Or right? should keep she on choose to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, this is, this is a song um, that I wrote years ago, inspired by the King Arthur legends. And I'm always fascinated by old stories because in the Disney generation, everything we hear of these ancient tales seems to get sanitized and cleaned up and suddenly the, the, the moral at the end of the story is that, you know, all you have to do is find your prince or find your princess and the wedding bells will ring and it's that easy. And we know it's not that easy. Life is full of little twists and turns. And in order to understand light, we have to see darkness. You know, in order to know what we're striving against. And so this is one of the darker parts of the King Arthur story. King Arthur was a young man with very great dreams. He'd had authority thrust upon him. He was not prepared, but he was willing to stand to the challenge of being king. But his sister, Morgan Le Fay, had grown up very, very angry. Not with her brother's actions, but with her brother's existence. This was a, a thing that galled her, and she had sworn to herself years before that she would do anything in her power to tear her brother down. And her greatest weapon was a small child named Mordred, who she had stolen from the cradle in Camelot. She raised this son, not as an innocent, as we all are born, she raised him as a weapon. To be used at a later date, he was a master of deception, of manipulation, of betrayal. And later in the story, Mordred does come to Camelot as a young knight, and he begins to tear down all the things his father had risen. So this is Mordred's lullaby. And I do wonder how many of us carry with us the baggage of those who sing us the cradle songs. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and carry you down into sleep. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and carry you down. Guile a son, I'll shape your belief, and you'll always know that your father's a thief, and you won't understand the cause of your grief, but you'll always follow the voices beneath that sing loyalty, 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 loyalty only to me, son. Your spirit will hate her, the flower who married my brother, the traitor, and you will expose his puppet behavior, for you are the proof of how we betrayed her loyalty, 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 loyalty only to me. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and carry you down into sleep. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and carry you down, guile son. Each day you grow older, each moment I'm watching my vengeance unfold. For the child of my body, the flesh of my soul, will die in returning the birthright he stole. Hush. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and 
to carry you down into sleep. Child, the darkness will rise from the deep and carry you down. Ah, <laughs> ah,